Welcome to Watch IS channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing mm. one of my collection watches, Seiko 5. And here we go. I will tell the name, the model name or number SNZG13K1. Yeah, I know it's a long name, but the watch deserves an attention. As you can see, this is a field watch style Seiko 5 Sports. The logo is kind of like an old style Seiko 5 Sports logo. You know, the Seiko changed the logo afterwards, but still, this watch needs attention because of the price. This is a $150 range. This was $150 range watch. If you can find it, it's an affordable watch. So the movement is 7S36. Like I told you, it's an automatic and we have 100 meter water resistance, glass back and minor adjustments as you can see on the bracelet and hard legs crystal on the front the dial is 45 millimeters and the case thickness is 12 millimeters lock to lock it's 55 it's not a small watch it's not a big watch so it's in the middle it's it's looking quite good on my 18 centimeter wrist as you can see even though i didn't do uh, the minor adjustments to fit it perfect because i wanted to move the watch just like when i do this because i'm a sportive guy push-ups pull-ups so every kind of sportive activity this watch has been abused a lot and you can see the scratches we have two locking mechanism here and here as you can see the build quality of the bracelet is not uh, like an expensive watch but it still gets the job done as you can see everywhere we have huge amount of scratches because i use this watch daily this watch definitely needs a polish if you want the close-up shots and the loom shots you can find it in the channel because this was the first watch we have shot in this channel before we start we have started to review the watches we just shot the 4k close-up so you can see the loom of this watch loom is good on the hour and the minute marks but the second mark loom is too small and it's difficult to see like i told you it this watch is not looking big even though it's 45 millimeter because of the design as you can see we have a couple of layers first layer is uh, the second and the minute marks around the edge and then we just go one step below we have 12 hour marks for every hour and then one step later we have 24 hour logos and we have seiko 5 sports logo we have automatic 23 jewels and 100 meters and we have movement japan at the six o'clock range so this is a crowded design when you're talking about the dial we have a huge amount of stuff inside so it's not the simplistic design kind of language on this watch and the reason that i purchased i want to buy something like hamilton khaki style field watch that that's going to suit if i change the strap to a leather one for a dress style occasions and if i use a bracelet like this it's going to be uh, you know sportive watch for everyday abuse and it can take everything because it's a Seiko 5 this watch does not have hacking or hand winding because of the movement 7s 36 it's a stable movement so it's just keeping the time correctly uh, as the movement uh, can allow so you won't regret your choice yes it looks like hamilton khaki why i bought this one instead of hamilton because of the price i wanted this watch but i knew that this was not going to be my first or the last watch or at least one of the three watches that i have in my small collection my collection is getting bigger every day so this is not the only one so i bought this one if i was going to keep like one or two watches or three watches at tops i could have gone with the hamilton khaki in an expensive way but you won't regret it after your purchase yeah it gives you the simplicity uh, of a field watch and 100 meter water resistance is much more than enough for every kind of use you can swim with it 
with no problem uh, you don't have a screw down crown but it gets the job done and Seiko later on changed the style of the Seiko 5 Sport logo and the glass is flat as you can see Seiko changed the glass they created another model with a dome glass the only downside of that watch is a lot more reflection when you take a look at the watch to read it but I think that looks more expensive this one uh, than this one because the dome glass I love those effects like creates another depth and kind of like a magnification around the numbers so if you want to go that direction if you find the budget and if you like that design I will uh, try to add it in the video later on you could purchase that one but if you want to keep it simple with the flat glass this could be your way to go and what I recommend with this watch uh, if you change the bracelet to a strap, go with the brown, a uh, good quality strap, leather strap, and then you can create a Hamilton Kaki alternative for less, much less of a money, and you can purchase another watch. So you can create two looks with just adding a strap to a watch. You already know if you uh, watch my other videos. What, uh, what kind of thinking style that I have so in this video I purchased my Seiko let me just remind you the model uh, from my computer SNZG 13 K1 I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to purchase this watch you can ask me any kind of questions because I've been using this watch for years and I'm quite happy with it uh, the bracelet have some spaces but it's not uh, taking my hair inside so I am quite happy with the bracelet it's not perfect you can see the quality and the uh, locking system is not looking expensive but we have minor adjustments so you can perfectly fit this watch to your wrist instead of a, a much more expensive Tissot style uh, watches you can have the minor adjustments it's a good thing so at the back we see the glass the mechanism movement inside that's a plus for me the downsides is a little crowded in the dial side and the loom is not perfect but for the price all these could be acceptable if you find this watch second hand don't worry you can purchase it because you can find uh, 7s 36 movement everywhere the parts you can repair it and since the glass is flat it's easy to re uh, repair it uh, if you have any accidents and scratches. and the depth is uh, created from polished brushed polished and brushed surfaces around the edges of this watch feel free to watch the video in our channel the first video with the close-ups in 4k very much detailed than this video and the watch condition was pretty pretty better than this one because i've been abusing this one for a long time so let me know what you think about the watch if you buy ever want to buy or consider this watch i'm quite happy with it it's going to be a keeper for my collection see you in the next video if you like the video and if you watch the video until the end until now please don't forget to like and subscribe to channel it will be great for me great support for me i want your comments because i want to know what you think about these kind of watches see you in the next video bye